Well, seeing as how we both powered up and all, let's go, Vegeta. <laughs> I will teach you the meaning of this. and have a combination. Xavier White. Oh, he got knocked. He got rocked just inside the 30-yard line. I see him young is right here. Watch him come downhill into the backfield and hit White in the hole. The Bulldogs steer it a third down and nine. Bringing some pressure off the edge. Mathis sees it, dodges it. Coming near side. Tucks it and will be hit big time around the 47-yard line. Knocked out of bounds. Is hit on the sideline by Bumper Pool. Dwan Mathis was learned early in this league. He had to get out of bounds. Almost run, and here is Ira Armstead. Nope. Fails in the pocket. Lost his foot and got back, and whoa. That looked like Trey Rucker. Wow, one possession game here in Chestnut Hill. As met and taken down was Galloway. He's going to flip it out there. He's wide open, and he can get a block. Malik, look out, big hit, ball comes free, it's on the deck, and Southern Miss covers it up. Oh, my. Yeah, you look right here, they run a little twist to the outside. He comes unblocked. To try to get a third down conversion. Wilson, pressure as the pocket breaks down, he's on the run, and he's going to be hit out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Pressure. And on the screen, Isaiah Jacobs. He's going to have to convert a lot of third downs. Hit, ball, jarred loose. Jimmy Fox. As well on third and ten. Hill stepping up. Incomplete up in the air. Boy, and Smith took a hit. On him, but Jaden Hill comes out of nowhere. Nice job breaking on the foot. Carried by Jones again. Just gets inside the 35 yard line. 34. It'll be third down. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense number 42. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Frustration setting in Blake Carroll at the end of the play here. Oh, oh boy. Uh, he's lucky he's not going yeah, home. I was just going to say, that's probably <laughs> cause for an ejection. Ejection right there. That's yep. a. That's a over. <laughs> First down, Letty Brown. And it's man in Morgan Town with a great run. Single coverage, don't make the tackle, and the result is a long touchdown and the first lead for Iowa State. Go Look check. at Ellie for the first time tonight. Rattler gets rattled by a blitz off the corner. 15 pounds this offseason, and you see what that mobility and speed does for him. Here's Tylen Knight. And Knight doesn't get anything. Ball came out at the end there, but it was ruled down. And I like this concept on the draw, but it didn't work this time. <laughs> As you see the secondary to Spencer Rattler as he's filling in their shoes. Oh! And Kansas State, do they have it? Looks like they do. How about that? Drew Wiley with the recovery. Jaron McPherson came up and absolutely walloped the true freshman Seth McGowan from the safety position. Over the middle and a huge hit. Kiaris Jackson is walloped. This is just a good solid football play. Comes in there, leads with that shoulder. Stewart was on the bottom of the pile and who ended up with it after the scrum? Side judges seeing Tar Heel football. And things got to get shut down here by the officials right now because after a wild play like that, you expect tensions to rise, and now the bench will clear from both sides. Flags have been thrown. Benches have partially cleared. Pushing and shoving on both ends, and the officials have to get it sorted out after a wild play like that. Now we have a rival game. Yes, sir. Chase Bryce and the Blue Devils. Bryce taking off. And wisely angling out of bounds, and that was Wilson. 
And there are two markers, and now they're really jawing back and forth. In fact, that's Bobo stepping in. He's on the sideline. And I think Peyton Wilson and his defending may have been a bit overzealous. On the ground and go up there. He's lucky to get out to the sidelines alive and then just to give him that extra shove when your team's just been penalized so much. Big hit at the 40. Flags are out. Lummy Young came up to hit the quarterback. Leary slow to get up. Personal foul. Win target. Number 23. Defense. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. The previous play is under further review. And this is absolutely the right call. Leary gives himself up by going into the slide. You've got to pull up now, and he's going to target the head. Lummy Young. I'd like to see from Auburn's corners. Hill over the middle. Smith. Wow, he gets trailed by Jamie and Sherwood, but pops right back up and runs to the huddle. Brought the wood here on the sideline. Look I'll at that. say. Oh. oh, man, great hit. Here now, let's see if they've got something for him. Go back to the other side. Look out. Dalen Hayes dropped back with a big. Lined up at the top of the screen. And hopefully for Aggie fans, he won't be single covered. Here's the quarterback, Trask, backing up and throws for an open receiver caught. Kadarius Tony with a touchdown and then a late flag is thrown. Trask getting into it with an AM defender. But in the early in the third quarter, they battled over and over, and eventually you force a field goal and jubilation of victory and the agony of defeat right there in front of you. Dylan Gabriel got his team within field goal range. Figured it was a done deal. But instead, Brady White kept fighting. He was indefatigable. He was tireless. He was precise. And boy, some frayed feelings and emotions on the sideline there for UCF. Pushing and shoving, which drew a penalty flag. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 32, Texas A&M, his first of the game. Penalties half the distance to the goal, first down. Andre Wright, White, after the play, you'll see him. He gets knocked down, pancaked, and then he comes right in, heads butts. Andre White. I mean, yeah. again, there was no return on the play. Yeah, and it, it, was, it was dumb, too. Andre White, after the play, and you see... Right, right there, number four, trying to pull Andre White out of there. He'll get a shot here from the 31. Did he get outside? Yes, he does. Gets a block, still on the move. Mims hits the sideline. Mims cuts it back. Mims with the stiff arm, it goes down. At the 29, Buczewski, the punter, had to make the saving tackle. Flags on the play. Horseman like conduct. Number on Texas, number eight. It's his first of the game. 15 yard penalty. Be first down, Oklahoma. Here, so they're doing a nice job. That was Jamal Morris, number three, the redshirt freshman. That's what allowed Mims to get to the outside. And then here at the end, Buchevsky. I'll tell you what. Winning streak in conference play since joining the American in the past five years. On the reverse to Walker. And up ended a yard shot. He, would, he launched himself. This is just, let's get airborne. Tries to go up over the top. Hit by two people. On his seven catches after a slow start. Cunningham rolls and has a man wide open downfield. Huge collision. Ian Hopmore's on this roster. Fields pulls it out. Drops it down. Oh, flag on the play. Just not a career record breaking play. Rodgers. Whoa. Just killed. Swings down the league. Heath. Go above him. Or you go airborne, boy, you better make sure that you get that ball seated properly. Again, that ball, it's almost natural, Tim, oh, to take your boy. arm and extend it away from your body to cushion your ball. But watch what happens here. Ball almost comes out. Man, that, that just looks nasty. I don't know how it looked he like was he was able to in a circus. I don't man. know how he was able to pop up that quickly. Back went all the way back. See, Mike. Yeah, no kick and jack. Oh, my goodness, what a hit. Jeremiah Owusu Poromoa got a running start at Ladamian Webb. Let's see what he dials up here. In 
incomplete looking for Milne in traffic and a big hit. Devin Key, the leading tackler for the Hilltoppers. Hey, personal foul, targeting, defense, number two. That previous play is under review. Targeting, right? The number one indicator I see is do we have a launch? And I see a launch, meaning he jumps and launches himself. I see a lowering of the helmet. That is another indicator for targeting. Ruling of targeting is confirmed. Number two of the defense is disqualified. The 15-yard penalty will be by Rattler. Scrambles out of the pocket, delivers, and Mims gets his lunch handed to him by Josh Thompson. Here ago, and kind of already proven that they can do that. Whoa! Little option play, and that got destroyed by Noah Taylor. Five different receivers so far. Pocket holds up. Now he'll go to the legs. Stays on his feet. Ball pops loose. It's the Pirates who come down with it. Game for him last week against the Tigers from the 48 first down. This one's down the seam. Ooh, big hit. Back in the second there. That time it's cut down at the line of scrimmage. Daz Newsom made the catch. Well, Waller just anticipates this play. Kind of guesses. He's seen a couple of those balls that have gone out to the flat, bubbles and whatnot. He nice. He's on that side, but... Nix looks to the left, a huge shot, the mouthpiece came flying out, and so did two flags, incomplete, LeCount came up and drilled oh, Jedrick boy. Jackson. He was a big hitter for this defense the last three years. Personal foul, targeting, defense, number two, the previous play is under review. Into the receiver, Let's see where the contact is. Well, that is close. Looks like the, the right shoulder got in there. It happened so fast because of the way he reacted. Shedrick Jackson. I uh, appreciate that. The ruling uh, of the field we is have confirmed. a defenseless player. The country will be half the distance to the goal. So contact Number to the head and neck area that's forcible. I have it. On first down, a bobbled snap. They get it out wide to Drake Stoops, and he's dropped immediately. This has generated production from the slot receivers over the past several seasons. Trying to hurdle the defender, Kenneth Walker. Designed to be a sweet sweep. He totally misses. <laughs> There in town, the pocket holds for him, and he zips it down the middle, and wow, there's a huge hit, but... That's experience at third and long, not the best option for him. Out of that pocket, trying to make a man miss, took a huge hit by Usu Koromon. Good history-making national championship team at LSU. And 11 here, Seals, the freshman, quick pass inside, and A&M read it all the way. And the big fella that we just talked about. Leal, agile at six foot four, 290 pounds, and getting out in space making plays. You give it, I think, on the zone run up inside. Marks straight ahead. Met with resistance. Down he goes. He's going to lose a couple of yards. And the Hawks' defense stands tall. Good. Third down and six. Here comes some pressure. Jerkovic lost sentence incomplete after the big hit on Hunter Long. Ball is thrown into traffic. He goes up, tries to make a play for his quarterback, and as you can see, the defender there, Trey Morrison, delivering a big shot. Duggan goes through his progressions, deflected, and picked up by Johnston. Thing, no gain. And King looking a little bit upset there. And so pushing and shoving right there on the Virginia sideline. Between the Cavaliers and the Hurricanes. Take a look. You know, Peyton on a release and, you know, it's held across his hands up high and kind of jawing a little bit. And that. Here's what happened on the sideline. And that is Jeremiah Peyton, the receiver. And running right back into cross his face. And it's interesting to see Bronco holding back Peyton and not holding back his own guy. Armstrong thrown again over the middle, and it's off the fingertips of Jana. We really haven't heard much from. Pratt, plenty of time against the three-man rush. He'll tuck it and run. Trying to get to the edge, takes a big hit around the 40-yard line. They're trying to find a way to 
lower his head, but Crossley says, uh-uh, you want to go out and you want to be a running back. <laughs> I mean, your screen, a low snap for White. They set up a little screen, and it's blown up. Great tackle by Maxwell, who we were just... Trask steps up, launches toward Pitts, double teamed and knocked away. A little bit of a skirmish near the line of scrimmage and everybody gets in there and says, come on now. Well, we got some tempers flaring over there. I see, I believe that was Coach Mullen and now this is starting to get a little bit out of hand. Yeah, Florida needs to get out of here. They got a big game next week against Georgia and I think that's what Dan Mullen was trying to do is prevent any any one of his players from doing something stupid. This is getting ugly. There's punches being thrown. Yeah, that's getting beyond ugly. That's another one thrown. Zachary Carter in there for Florida. Oh, this, is, this is getting bad. I mean, there's going to be some severe ejections. This is absolutely the last thing that Dan Mullen wanted for his ball club going into the cocktail party next week. They are having a whole lot of problems trying to break this up. And something happened after that play that incited Dan Mullen and the Gator squad. And this is Trask on the pass. And oh my. Now you got Dan Mullen and Eli Drinkwitz going at it. Well, I mean, these are two head coaches. I can promise you will not back down. Now that's a good sign. I, I like to see that. Little handshake, little discussion, gonna talk things over.